at what point did you know that Emmanuel was going to play and what did you think of the way he kind of toughed through that injury? Yeah, I think really proud of him. I think it speaks to his growth as a player and how far he's come, you know, since he walked in the door here. Um, not only did he play, but he played extremely well um, and has really, you know, come forward as a leader in our offensive line room. So really proud of him. And, you know, the more people that can fall in, fall in line with people like that and attitudes like that, um, the better we'll be as a team. Lincoln said he expected him to be doubtful. Were you anticipating not having him? I mean, I, I try not to, you know, worry in one way or the other. I mean, I think, you know, we have a, a number of guys that can step up and, and do the job. Obviously, you know, emen has been great for us, so we always want to have him on the field. But I, I mean, I'm trying to get ready for a game. I wasn't super, like, I wasn't going to bed thinking about it. <laughs> in what ways has he stepped up as a leader this year? Um, I mean, I think just situations like that, I think, um, you know, his attitude, his his work ethic in the weight room, I think really took a jump throughout um, throughout the offseason, really started to take, you know, his body seriously, his recovery seriously, and I think just, you know, the overall effort he plays with has really taken a jump as well. If the short week provided challenges, what have you guys done to be able to take advantage of a, a longer week this week with an extra day? Yeah, and that's, you know, um, it's not up to me. I'm just out here to, to execute uh, practice and stuff like that. I'll let the coaches handle the practice plan. Miller, Miller, just coach talked about uh, needing to separate in some of these games, and he separated against Rutgers. How, how good did it feel to finish the job against Rutgers? Good. I mean, I think you, you kind of saw the, the natural progression and growth of our team, which was which was good to see. And obviously, you know, still a long ways to go in terms of that. Washington is the number one pass defense by yards in the country. Yeah. Uh, what do you see on, on film from them once they're so tough? Yeah, I mean, it seems like we face that a lot this year. <laughs> um, but no, they're a really good group. They're really well coached. Um, pretty veteran in the secondary. Actually, I went to high school with one of the corners, which should be fun to see see him again. Um, but yeah, really good group. Not a lot of coverage busts. Obviously, an NFL pedigree on the, on the defensive side. So, um, really good matchup that, that we're excited for. You mentioned you've, you've seen a lot of that this year. Just how is your kind of knowledge, you know, uh, understanding involved of how to kind of attack defenses that are maybe geared towards trying yeah. to slow down big plays? Yeah, I think a, a tremendous amount. I think each week, you know, I'm, I'm seeing things that I wasn't necessarily seeing before. Um, and it might be, you know, little nuances, but I do, you know, catch myself picking up on certain things that I didn't before. And obviously, you know, um, I think, I could be wrong, but I mean, this is the number four defense in the Pac-12 and number six, or, sorry, Big Ten, <laughs> and number six defense in the country. So I think that really speaks to, you know, the depth of really good defenses in this conference. Um, and, yeah, we've had the opportunity to face a lot of them. I think we're, we're better for it. What do you attribute the guy's breakout these last few weeks to? I, mean, I, I think that's just who he is. You know, obviously he was slowed down a little bit early in the year with the injury versus Michigan, which was unfortunate. We missed him. Um, but, I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone in our building or locker room is surprised at all. I think that's just who he is as a player and who he's going to continue to be. Kyle was talking to us post game about, you know, at times it's been hard for him to kind of grapple with, you know, the, the role so far through this part of the year. But, you know, Lincoln talked about how much he's matured, you know, since he was yeah. here a couple of years ago. How have you seen that from him and him just kind of work through that this year to, to, to kind of stay ready like he did last week? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think, you know, it goes for, for a very talented receiver room. Like, there's only so many balls that can go around each game. So, um, it's obviously really important for guys to take advantage of their opportunity. I think Kyle did that in the best way possible. Um, and he's going to continue to see more opportunities. Um, he's done a great job. And he's really, you know, being the older guy in the room now, which he wasn't before, um, I think he's taken on that role and really helped those young guys. Just a lot of guys, you know, in that room, it's their first time going through a, a full season as a guy who's playing a lot. So I think just having his wisdom and perspective in that room has been really helpful. Last week, you talked talk a lot about the two ways the team could respond to the yeah. losing streak. What did you see last week in, in the response? I think we did a good job for the most part. Um, I think we had a great week of preparation. Um, I don't think it was we rolled out there on Saturday and I was like, there was something magical was different, you know. Um, I think it, it started on Monday of last week and we had a great Monday. Um, and then, you know, attacked those meetings had really great preparation and went out there and executed well. So um, I think it's definitely something to build on, but certainly a lot more room to grow. felt like there were times this week where you guys rushed to the line, really excited to run the next play. There's other times this year where you guys have used a lot of the play clock. How would you characterize this offense's relationship with the tempo this year? Yeah, I mean, it's it's always a weapon that, that Coach Riley likes utilizing. I think we've we've done a little less this year than maybe often that we've done done before. But I think you know every group's different, and Coach Riley's gonna you know take advantage of their strengths in, in one way or another. But it's always gonna be a weapon for us at, at SC and with, with Coach Riley's offense. Two more.
guys talk a lot about finishing games and uh, how important is it to start games strong and be efficient offensively? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's equally important, you know. That's, that's why yeah, it's really important to play a, a full four quarters. You know, if you're not able to do that, you won't win consistently, and we've seen that. So, um, like I said, you know, last week, it hasn't been cookie cutter in terms of the ways in which we've fallen short. It hasn't been, oh, we fell apart at the end or like continuously or always oh, started slow continuously like it's kind of been a little bit of a mixed bag so I think you know we've really just seen the importance of um, having to play a really good four quarters. Thank you Miller. Yeah. Thank you.